Hi, in this video I'm going to have a look at cleaning cassettes and as you might already know there's two common types there's a dry cleaning cassette like these two and then there is the wet cleaning cassette like this one we use a solution on the tape band to clean the heads with but this is not what I'm going to have a look at I'm more interested in this cassette here and this cassette here has got a capstan cleaning pad as well and it's called a total tape pass cassette head cleaner so it takes care of the heads as well as the capstan let's have a look at the back of it made in China and here's a diagram of how it works in uh, theory still got the factory seals on it and you can pause the video and read that if you like let's open it and have a look Oh, come on, get under there. That should just slide out, but I doubt it. So let's just do that. And there goes the cleaning solution. There it is in its case, wet type. And I'm not sure why it's got the... DCC logo because it says it's not compatible with DCC um, compact cassette logo yeah sure fair enough yeah it definitely says not compatible or not suitable for DCC I also have a CD DVD player lens cleaner from the same company and here it says not suitable for stackers and it's crossed out, crossed out. unlike um, what they did on the cassette where they just stuck that DCC logo on it but did not cross it out to make it clear that it's not suitable so let's have a look at it JCAD has got more instructions on it and you can also pause on that and read that if you like and this here this is a spare felt pad for the capstan and on the cassette itself that goes there just like that it's on five screws and there is a hole in the case here in the shell and another one here and that's for the fluid there's no pressure pad and this is side B and it's hubs so let's do that This is what the instructions tell, tell me to do is and that bottle is not really squeezy. Okay. And it's not squeezy because it hasn't got a hole in it yet. You have to put a hole in it yourself. 
So let's do that with a pin. And see how that works now. Yeah, now it's squeezy. That's what they tell you to do. I don't see the felt pad pad getting wetter. So I'll just put it on the pad itself. Maybe a bit more in here. And put this cassette to the test. Usually the cassette door cannot be removed on a boombox and access isn't great. Perhaps that's the intended use for this cassette. Let's try a real deck. Here goes the cassette. Play. Maybe get that done a couple of times. And one more time for just good measure. And I would say it works. You can definitely see some of the grime on it that it took off, especially on the leading edge on the pinch roller. So it definitely works. This is my second capstan slash pinch roller cleaning cassette. A couple of years ago, I found a used Philips reel to reel capstan and pinch roller cleaning cassette too. There's an older video on that too. Thanks for watching and see you next or the previous video.